Hey, what's happening? It's Mark T down here in the Croc Center. And for those of you that are in the loop in Arizona basketball, you already know who this wonderful man is. For those who do not know, this gentleman is Justin Peterson. Uh, he's the owner of the Lab Sports Facility, uh, also the owner of Just For Whooping Leagues and Tournaments, the preeminent youth basketball league tournament service here in Arizona. And over the years, Justin and I have developed a, a relationship, and he continues to amaze me with his heart and desire to uh, be a blessing to others, particularly the kids. So, Justin, thank you for coming down, brother. Thank you for having me today, man. I'm excited for this new, uh, this new basketball venture. Yeah, new I love it. Yeah. Man. That's, that's my type of basketball right there. I love it, I love it. So, uh, but what I am interested in is, uh, we talked about the roof. Thank you for coming down. What's kind of some of your first impressions with uh, the U hoop? When I first saw it, I was I was excited. I was like, you, you know, because growing up, I used I when I shot, I didn't use the backboard. So <laughs> and, and I got a lot of my shot blocked. So <laughs> at the end of the day, um, but I think I think it's a great concept. I think that um, I think it's going to be really good for the younger kids. To learn how to shoot without that backboard, because once you once you master this, you know your game goes to the next level. Yeah, I agree. Once you master the jump shot, the stop and pop, the floater, your game's at a whole different level. You literally you can perfect scoring at all three levels on a hoop like this. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so Ed, as a tournament director, as someone that runs leagues. Uh, what benefits do you see off the top of your head of having kids and even recreational guys play in games on the U Hoops? I just think that I think that coming in, it's it's very unique. So people come in because you know they're used to backboard. So when they come in and see that, it's very intriguing. Like literally, when I walked in here, the first thing I did was grab a basketball, <laughs> and I'm like. Oh, I'm shooting, and uh, luckily there's nobody here to block my shots. So <laughs> it all worked out. But um, I think that the, the younger kids, like I said, if they can master this without a backboard, it's going to just up their game tremendously. Absolutely. And talking about you coming in and just grabbing the ball, this is the ball I gave you to grab, the rain basketball. Justin, you're a lifer. You're a gym rat. What's your thoughts on the design of this basketball right here? When I first saw it, I was like, there, there, there's too many lines on it. But <laughs> at the end of the day, it just, it feels natural. You know, you've got all these, you've got these grooves that, you, you, so basically what's going to happen is you're going to find these grooves that, that work for you, and then you're going to be able to master your shot. So I, I think this ball is, um, it could be a game. Yeah, I, I think it could be a game changer. And what I've been sharing with people is my thoughts are, this is a great ball for that intermediary player, the foundation with the shot, the feet, shot pocket, elbow in, follow through, all of that is there. Now they're learning touch and feel and how to be able to catch the ball, get the feel, and still keep their head up and then get into the shot. I think this brain ball is an ideal ball to develop those sub-modalities of the whole shooting process. Absolutely. If you, if you watch some of these NBA um, pure shooters, you know, uh, Reggie Miller, all these guys, they, they have a range and they find the spot on the ball. And once they find that spot, it's pretty well automatic. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. Hey, Justin, I, I appreciate you coming down, my man. I look forward to doing some things with you in the near future. I'm, I'm excited, and it means a lot to me that you took the time out of your day to come check out the roof. Absolutely. I'm excited, and once again, uh, this is up and coming, and it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. Amen to that. Be blessed. What we're going to do right now is redefine the game. And this is not the attempt, but the effort.